Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac, and today we're going to be talking about how to not fall into the money chase. But before we talk about that, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting me on there. It just makes me able to do all the stuff that I do and create all the content that I create. And if you want to support me on Patreon, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple link in description, and you can help support this ministry and all the content that I create on there. It would be a huge blessing to me. Anyway, on to towards on to towards on to towards today's video. Okay. So we're going to be talking about money today, money, make the dollar dollar bills yell. Um, I'm 20 years old and I work a couple different jobs and as well as doing ministry stuff online with daily disciple ministry and money. The issue of money has be like it. If you ask me how much I think about money, I would say more than I should, but I think that's the way that a lot of us are at this age because it's just kind of one of those things where it's like an uncertainty maybe you you have a couple jobs or you have one job but it's not really where you want to be so there's there's uncertainty maybe there and you're just kind of like in this state of questioning um you know hey maybe i should be doing this or this and this and there's hopes to make more money and be more successful and all this kind of thing but also maybe where you are there's a level of insecurity there if you're not already where you want to be in terms of money because of all this at least i've seen within my own life and 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 maybe you can relate to this is this tendency towards putting money too high on the priorities list um, not that we shouldn't be trying to, you know, make money or work harder, all these kind of things, but it's about understanding where does money fit in, in this equation in my life, right? Should it be number one? Is it the number one thing that I need to be working towards and figuring out and all this kind of thing? Like, is that's where it's supposed to be? Because when I talk about don't fall into the money chase, what is the money chase? Well, it's the money chase. It's when you're chasing money. And I don't know as Christians, if that's where we're supposed to be, you know, we're told not to love money. The love of money is the root of all evil. So we're not supposed to love money, but how high should it be on our priorities list? And I'm just kind of talking out loud here for myself, because this is where I'm at. You know, ultimately I want to be able to provide for uh, my future family. Um, I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to have that life. And you can't really do that if you don't have money. So that's kind of my main motivation for wanting to be able to, you know, make some some solid cash, make some money, be able to provide for my family in that way. So it's not a wrong thing that we want money. You know, it's good that we want to be responsible in that way. But when we put it too high or our motives are a little bit off in terms of wanting to make money or if we worry about money or obsess about money or love money, that's when we fall into the, you know, that temptation, when we fall into that trap of wanting to chase money. And it's hard sometimes to not idealize the lifestyle of just being rich, just having a lot of money and being able to do whatever you want with it kind of thing. And for me, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being rich, but the idea is what comes first? Does the love of money come first or does the love of God come first? And the love that God shows us creates in us a desire to want to honor him in whatever we're doing. So this idea of working heartily for God and not for man. So in, in whatever we're doing, if we're working hard for God, if we're wor working hard, we're working efficiently, we're being creative, we're, we're really striving to honor him in our work. That's where we start. So if we're doing that, then I believe that is along the right path where we want to be. It's not necessarily about how much we're making. Maybe it's the, it's the heart behind with what we're doing in our job. So whether it's a, you know, a minimum wage 7-Eleven job or some kind of office work or whatever you're doing, um, I think that should be at the forefront of our mind. Not, oh, I got to make tons of money so then I can do all this stuff. No, it's, I want to honor God 
in the midst of my war. The other thing is that we should not put aside the things that God has called us to simply because we don't see a monetary, you know, value in those things. So for me, the idea of putting a lot of effort into what God had called me to on this YouTube channel, on the Instagram, on the website, all the online stuff and with along with the book and all that kind of thing, you know, that didn't seem like a, a huge, um, you know, a good financial decision necessarily. But I had to put what God called me to ahead of what where I wanted to be financially necessarily, right? So I think it's important to identify in whatever your job you're in, if that's where God has placed you, that is awesome. There should be no shame in regard to, oh, well, somebody's doing ministry or somebody just has a, like, a quote unquote regular job. Right? God calls us to all different places, right? This is where he's called me. But the idea is that our money should not be our master. So it should not dictate where I'm going. That should be God's job to dictate where my life is going. So there may be times in your life where you'll need to cut back on hours at work. You'll need to make less money because God has placed this opportunity in front of you that takes time, that takes effort, that takes you know your financial resources. And I just want you to be ready for when that situation comes to be able to jump at that and not fall into the money chase and not be um, the uh, slave to your money, but rather be able to jump at that opportunity. Say, hey, I want to work hardly for God. I want to honor him in the midst of my finances, but I also want to be able to pursue these opportunities that he's placed in front of me. And along the lines of what I was talking about at the very beginning in terms of having insecurities about how much you're making or whatever, Sometimes we can find our identity or our self-worth in how much money we're making. And that can cause us to, you know, have this real desire and passion to, I gotta make more money because I wanna be something in this world. Because if I make lots of money, that means I'm worth something. That means that my success, that, that defines who I am. And that means that, you know what, people can look at me and they can just be like, wow, what an awesome person. And I can gain that love and acceptance that my heart desires. And what we need to look at and say, hey, look, it, that desire in our heart to be loved and accepted and known, that's not going to be fulfilled along the path of the money chase, quote unquote, along the lines of ser only serving our money or, or working just to make money. Those desires can only be met with God in Christ. You know what? Because we're never going to find that satisfaction that we're looking for in a dollar bill. You hear it and it's cliche at this point, but even people that are stinking rich are still sad and depressed. So I just want to kind of give you some perspective and I'm preaching to myself as well. This idea that look, look where God has placed you in whatever job or whatever situation he's, he's placed you work heartily for him, right? Work hard for him because he has loved you, love him back and love him through your works, right? Work heartily for the Lord, right? And wherever he has placed you. And when he moves you somewhere else, when you're, you know, put in an opportunity where maybe you're making less money, you can be okay with that because money is not your master. Because at the end of the day, the money chase won't satisfy us as much as we wish it would, as much as rich people wish it would, as was, as much as, you know, getting a hundred dollar or thousand dollar or hundred thousand dollar check might satisfy us for a little bit, ultimately will be dissatisfied with it and we'll realize actually hey this is a tool money is a tool and it's an important resource that I need to have in my life to serve God but understand that you know what as long as I'm following where God has me and I'm, as long as I'm working hard in what he has me doing that's perfect that's where we're supposed to be I don't need to find my identity and how much I make and I don't need to fall into this trap of just needing more and more money to maybe ease my insecurities or feel like I'm worth something because God has already put value on me as his child well guys that was today's video some thoughts I had on money and I won't be talking about this topic in the future I can guarantee it but let me know what you think in the comments down below if you've got something from this video give it a like and subscribe to the channel because we're making videos all the time mondays and thursdays um, if you're new to daily disciple ministry this ministry is all about helping you become an authentic inspired and passionate disciple of christ through online videos resources and other things if you want to pick up my book where's my book where's my book oh, where's my book if you want to buy my book if you want to buy
If you want to buy my book, it's a letter to my father, what your son wants to tell you but doesn't, you can pick it up, link in description. Um, I, it tells a lot of my story actually and it talks a little bit about money as well and my experience with money and ministry so you can pick up the book, link in description. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. See ya!